Time to introduce you to somebody special. This is Phil, the cockroach. He has been dead for the last about two months, I think, when we are gone out of the country, maybe three months. He has been inspecting the work. Anyway, so what we have done, what we have done, what I have done here is uh, put an opening, which sounds weird. And as I was looking at it, I thought it would have been really cool if the shower could go all the way in. But then I would have zero access to the plumbing. So anyway, uh, unless I had done, I guess, the plumbing there. But that would have been cool and put like some glass or something, a frosted glass in there just for the look of it. But there's going to be a small um, cabinet that I'm going to make to put in there. And the sole purpose of that is, well, first of all, to give some like toilet paper and stuff to whoever is using the bathroom. But also it will be attached in four different spots so if i ever need to do any plumbing later on um, i can just go ahead and put pull the four screws that exist there that will exist there pull it out and climb back in i need to find uh four scrapers there we go okay uh, i don't want the really big one i think i'm gonna go for this one here also some 632 one and a quarter inch because I need extended screws for one of the receptacles. Also got me some Romex that I need to finish up some wiring and boy it's expensive. All right. This is how you take off flooring quickly. about a bit over an hour maybe I would say pulled it all up um, the clip that you saw earlier was the loose stuff this area right here was really stuck a little bit bigger than the darker area so I scraped as much of it as I could but then the center that you see darker I had to heat up and it loosened up and sure enough it came off but it still took some time it was easy though uh, even after applying the heat it came up easily it's just slow dusty but let me show you what I did first of all I had bought this door that was not gonna fit it was too narrow so I made up the space 
because I'm a little bit cheap. Plus you need it because I'm cutting into the, uh, what do you call it, the cement um, blocks. You need a little bit of extra support. And it's supported enough, but I'm adding a little bit more just to be on the safe side. But I start breaking out and you can see a little bit of light and those pieces, some of them I can just push them and they will fall over. So tomorrow's when I'm gonna have the whole day, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to the outside, cut the, with the, um, what you call it? With the uh, stone blade, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the uh, cement block, sorry. I'm missing words today. I'm gonna to cut the cement block and then I'll be able to do a nice cut opening, take out the window and install the new door. I shouldn't take very long. I thought it was gonna take longer, but I spent maybe 15 minutes and all of this fell down and I have been having to be very careful not to accidentally push the whole wall out in that section. So anyway, Good enough. Let me lift it and you finish up the last screw. Okay. okay. Take them out with your hand. Okay, go take the other ones out also. There we go. Okay, good job. All right, buddy, what are we doing today? What are we cleaning? Let's uh, see. The bricks. Ah, everything is broken now. We're cleaning. Good job. The two of us got the door yeah. ready to go. Let me show you. Here it is. Of course, all the gaps and stuff need to be filled. All kinds of things need to happen, but it's working. Uh, and 
the reason why you see a little bit of light there and a little bit of light at the top is because we don't have a, a lock to hold it in and the insulation is pushing it out a little bit. But we're about to get a lock and that will fix it. Well, now that the door is in, we're ready to move on to installing the new floor and some odds and ends also before we move into yet a next phase. So all of that should be in the next episode. Please remember to subscribe, like, and turn on your notifications. Uh, we're having a lot of fun doing this. We're getting so close to the end of remodeling the um, uh, bed and breakfast. And hopefully soon we can put it up for rent with Airbnb most likely. And I'll cover some of that too if you guys are interested in doing your Airbnb.